Good morning, champions. I hope everybody's day is off to a good start. I'm going to read you guys a book today um, about animals and about all a bunch of different kinds of animals. Before I do that, let's just quiet our bodies and minds with a couple deep breaths. So I want everybody to touch your snout and let's take a deep breath in through your nose and then touch your chin and let it out through your mouth. In through your nose, out through your mouth. One more, in through your nose, and out through your mouth. Awesome. So, the book we're going to read today is Quick as a Cricket. It's a really fun book because it talks about a bunch of different kinds of animals and what's kind of special about each animal. So the title, like I said, the title is Quick as a Cricket. That's the name of the book. It's what the book call, is called. It also kind of tells us a little bit about what the book's going to be about. So we hear the title is Quick as a Cricket. We know a cricket is, that's an insect that we learned about during our insect unit. And quick is another word for fast. So fast like a cricket. And then we're looking at the illustration on the front cover. And what do we see? We see a little boy jumping, running, and a, and a cricket going fast too. Hmm. Let's make a quick little prediction about what do we think this book is going to be about. Miss Felicia already told us it's going to be about animals. So we know that crickets are involved. And we see that there's a little boy too. Interesting. We can see where this goes. Um, our author, remember the author is the person who writes all the words in a story. Our author is Audrey Wood and the illustrator who draws all the pictures is Dawn Wood. There's one word that I want you guys to know before we read and it is tame. Now the word tame, when you say an animal is tame, that means an animal isn't dangerous. They're not going to hurt you. It's, it's like an animal that can live in your house. So if you remember, um, Miss Felici showed you guys pictures of, of, the, of our fat cat, Luigi. He's so big and fat, but you can't actually say that. If he hears you calling him fat, he gets really sad, remember? So we have to pretend like he's really skinny. But, but that fat cat, Luigi, he's tame. He's not dangerous. He's not going to hurt anybody. He can live inside the house. Now let's think of a, of a ferocious lion. Is that a tame animal? No. That animal could be kind of dangerous, huh? That's not an animal that you can keep in your house as a pet. So the word tame is an animal that's not dangerous, an animal that you could keep in your, in your house as a pet, kind of like my cat Luigi. Okay, so, quick as a cricket. I'm quick as a cricket. I'm as slow as a snail. I'm as small as an ant. I'm as large as a whale. I'm as sad as a basset. I'm as happy as a lark. A lark, those are the birds that you can hear singing. They sound really happy. I'm as nice as a bunny. I'm as mean as a shark. I'm as cold as a toad. I'm as hot as a fox. I'm as weak as a kitten. I'm as strong as an ox. I'm as loud as a lion. I'm as quiet as a clam. I'm as tough as a rhino. I'm as gentle as a lamb. I'm as brave as a tiger. I'm as shy as a shrimp. I'm as tame as a poodle. 
There's that word tame. Let's look at this poodle. Does this poodle look like it could be dangerous? No. Does it look like it'd be a good pet? Yeah, it looks like it could definitely live inside your house as a pet. It doesn't look like it would be scary like a lion does. I'm as wild as a chimp. I'm as lazy as a lizard. I'm as busy as a bee. Put it all together and you've got me. Now, we can be all of those different things, right? At different times of the day. All of these different animals and the way that they can sometimes behave. I want you guys to think about if you were an animal, what kind of animal would you be? What would you be? Would you be an ant? If you like working with others and you're really good at teamwork, you might want to be an ant. If you're so brave, you might be a tiger. If you're so loud and you love being noisy on Miss Felici's carpet, maybe you could be a lion. If you're very quiet and calm and nice, maybe you want to be a bunny. There's a whole bunch of different animals that you could be. So I want you to write me a sentence and tell me if you were an animal, what kind of animal would you be? And you already know, smart cookies, you're going to write me two sentences. And I want to know why. Don't just tell me I want to be an ant. You have to tell me, or I would be an ant. You have to tell me why. How come? Why an ant? Why did you pick that? Okay, I cannot wait to see these sentences. And don't forget, when you write your sentences, don't forget to get about your big three. An uppercase letter at the beginning, personal space in between all your words, and a period at the end of each sentence. Because I know you're probably going to be writing me more than one sentence, so make sure you have a period at the end of every single sentence. Um, I cannot wait to learn about what animal you would be if you were an animal and why. I love you guys and I miss you so much.